What's going on, Evil Street Shark fam? So, as the title says, will I be going to Honda Day? So, first and foremost, yes, I'm going to be going to Honda Day. So, if you guys have not heard, Honda Day has been hosted in New Jersey for the last 15 to 16 years. And I was going to go to Honda Day regardless if it was in New Jersey. I was going to drive all the way to New Jersey and go to Honda Day and see a lot of you guys. Also, by the way, comment in the comment box below if any of you guys are going to Honda Day. And also comment where are where do you guys live? Or if you guys live on the East Coast, are you guys going to Honda Day? But I've seen on Facebook page online, a lot of people are upset about the event being in Maryland. And now they have to drive four to five hour later so a lot of people are pretty upset about that i kind of look at it like this if you think about it honda day is actually hosted in the middle of the east coast so i've seen some people from actually driving farther away deciding to go to honda day now so i see people from atlanta louisiana texas driving out tennessee those areas some people from canada's coming michigan so a lot of people even florida and north carolina south carolina are actually coming to the event now so it's actually pretty dope and these people are coming from a lot farther from different places from where it's originally held so it's pretty dope so definitely honda day this year is going to be also in maryland there's really a nice honda scene out here in maryland and i showed some of you guys in the vlog i showed you guys like a fd2 that's turboed i showed you guys another uh civic that's turboed um i showed you a fg2 a two-door that's uh, supercharged there's a bunch of other cars out here too that are pretty sick there's some nice sick s2000s in maryland so there is some sick cars out here there's a bunch of sick builds out here for in the honda scene so definitely if you guys are debating to coming to honda day in maryland at maryland international raceway definitely come out it's going to be sick it's going to be amazing okay and then another thing that i wanted to touch on was a lot of people were saying that i don't know if i should come to maryland because i heard the laws are really tough and i think a lot of people are getting confused with h2o getting impounded they're getting a million tickets because every single year h2o in ocean city maryland which ocean city is like two and a half hours away from maryland international raceway so it's like a whole nother part of maryland which is far away that where of course they have uh people come there and do crazy stupid stuff so of course they're going to be bound out there to give you tickets and pound your car for doing crazy stupid stuff but if you come to maryland or maryland international raceway you are not going to have no problem i drive my car on a daily basis like i show you guys every single day there's some stuff on my car of course is modified there's stuff that i'm supposed to have on my car but we're not going to talk about that I'm supposed to have in my car and usually on my way to work I'm cruising with cops on the cover cops and stuff and nobody bothers me I have a GoPro on the side of my car nobody bothers me I just be cruising minding my own business all you got to do is do follow the laws do the speed limit have a good time and of course we're honestly where Maryland International Raceway is is in Southern Maryland and it's basically in the middle of nowhere there's like nothing out there there's cornfields there is um the guys don't be uh scaring the amish people there's amish people out there so then we ride in their horses and they usually some of the amish people have like little kids uh inside of there so don't be revving past them two-stepping scaring the little kids and the little amish uh kids so definitely it's country is in the middle of nowhere that's where maryland international raceway is and there's really not like too many cops out there it's like they're not going to be getting pulled over left and right definitely i'm going to say if you guys decide to come you guys are going to enjoy yourself and maryland international raceway has one of the best tracks in the united states they have one of the best drag tracks in the united states they usually have the a lot of the tournaments here so they have the how tech tournament i know you guys heard of that they usually have the world tournaments here the world cup tournaments so definitely maryland international raceway has some of one of the best tracks ever so definitely if you guys come out you're not going to be disappointed and this is a two-day event so it's going to be dope both days so i highly recommend guys if you can make the trip definitely come out even if you go on i believe the honda day uh facebook page i released i believe recently they posted on there saying like here's some hotels if you guys decide to use some of these hotels 
give them this coupon code to tell them you're going to be attending an event and they will give you a discount on a hotel so highly recommend you guys you guys definitely come out take advantage of all of this stuff and hopefully i get to see some of you guys so definitely put down in the comment box below where do you guys live i know some of you guys wanted me to do a meetup in the area so if you guys definitely want to meet up honda day at maryland international raceway let me know if you guys want to do a meet and greet there so i can plan something ahead of time plan like an area or something and then i can post it on my instagram and tell everyone to meet me here and you guys can check out the car air up air down etc etc so definitely i cannot wait i cannot wait to meet a lot of you guys that is a part of the evil street shark family and continue to show love and support. i want to thank all of you guys for showing love and support i cannot wait to meet you guys i cannot wait i'm excited honda this is going to be there honda and acura so it's going to be really dope in my opinion honda is basically as a brand as a whole honda has a love and hate relationship at times you will love hondas and then at the time you will hate them because of the bad reputation you get and then when it's that mustang owner or someone where they be like oh your car is slow and then then you beat this lamborghini or ferrari then they have mad respect for you and you you have a twenty fifteen thousand dollar car they spend all this money hundred thousand dollar on a car and they lose to a four banger which is crazy right crazy so that's why i say Honda is definitely a love and hate relationship, especially where VTEC comes in. So you guys know like back in Fast and the Furious, when Fast and the Furious came out, uh, he was racing the Volkswagen and you got VTEC. So he hit the nitrous and then later he was like too soon junior and VTEC kicked in and the S2000 just pulled off and, and took the W. Yes, man. I would definitely say every, that's one thing about Hondas. Everyone love VTEC. Even if you're not even like a Honda enthusiast, after you get in the car for the first time and hit VTEC, you'll love it. So definitely, you gotta love and appreciate when VTEC kicks in and you feel that car starts pulling and people think that your car is slow and your car just starts pulling and just gone. So <laughs> if I'm, also I might do something special when I see you guys at Honda Day. So if you guys wanna meet up or have a meet and greet or something, let me know. I'm going to do something special. Definitely, that's it for the video, guys. More videos are on the way. If there's anything that you guys want to achieve, find your inner drive, the thing that makes you want to take a step forward every single day and go after it every single day and make it happen. Peace. Shout out to the Evil Street Strike fam. Definitely smash the subscribe button on the left here and also hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Click the link right here below of the latest video that's out right now.